Oh, yeah. And now, our feature presentation. Thank you. Thank you. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, we give him praise and thanks for all of his prophets and the scriptures that they have brought for the elevation of the human family. We thank him for Moses and the Torah. We thank him for Jesus and the Gospel. We thank him for Muhammad and the Quran. Peace be upon these worthy servants of Allah. As a student of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, I am eternally grateful to Allah who intervened in our affairs in the person of Master Farad Muhammad the Great Mahdi who came among us and raised from among us a divine leader, teacher and guide, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. I greet all of you, my dear brothers and sisters, with the greeting words of peace. We say it in the Arabic language. Assalamu alaikum but it means in English peace be unto you to your esteemed president to brother Warner Saunders and to each of you members of the National Association of Black Journalists I'm very very honored to have this opportunity to speak to a most influential group of our brothers and sisters. You have a tremendous responsibility being journalists and being black and how to approach your esteemed profession with honesty, integrity, and yet not fall into the editorial trap of trying to please a master by saying the things that pleases the master and denying the truth that you know. This estate, the fourth estate, is really the protector of democracy. Without a free press, there is no real democracy. Free press, what does that really mean? That you're free, yes, to state your ideas, thoughts, and opinions in a democratic society. But a free press is not a controlled press. A free press is that, free, to determine what the truth is and to write and speak that truth to the betterment of that society. The founding fathers of this great nation knew that in order to protect this nation and to keep it forever in the light of God, perpetually moving toward perfection, freedom of speech and freedom of the press and freedom of religion and freedom of assembly must be protected. Without free speech, we are hindered from saying the things 
that might correct a democracy that has gone off course without a free press we cannot say the things that would keep the nation from falling into the abyss after the nation reaches its zenith and becomes wealthy and powerful and influential yet corrupt good men don't buy newspapers for good purposes good men don't buy television stations for the good of the masses the masses are being fed filth ignorance stupidity garbage in the name of news in the name of media in the name of television in the name of entertainment and as a man thinketh in his heart so is he and whatever a man eats that's what that man is and if you feed your public filth and ignorance and degeneracy then what should you expect from them when you have the right and the privilege to feed the human mind then to feed the human mind lies mixed with truth skewing the truth hiding the truth manipulating the truth for this one's benefit into that one's degradation is not my idea of protecting democracy and the fundamentals of a democracy you say well, wait a minute Farrakhan I I didn't come here to have you lecture us on our business I didn't come to lecture you on nothing else but your business and since you invited me I think I have a right to talk to journalists about what you are supposed to be doing you are a national association of black journalists that work for white institutions and white folk did not hire you to really represent what black people are really thinking and you don't really tell them what you think because you are too afraid of the little cheap gig that you have and this does not protect democracy and it does not represent the black community we are the suffering ones that put you where you are so why shouldn't you stand up and represent the best of what we are you didn't get there because you were so skilled some Negroes got to throw in some Molotov cocktails one day and white folk didn't want to come uptown and they had to raid the black press to find some black person who would do the job they pulled you away from the black press and they brought you into the mainstream media and you became happy to be mainstream this is not the river Jordan this is a corrupt stream and now we gotta purify it to protect the nation that you say you love and the people from whom you came that demand better from you you don't know me that's sad you've known me a long time some of you and when you hear them beating the hell out of me because I'm supposed to be an anti-Semite and a bigot it would be really nice to hear your brother who applauds you behind the door say something out front that he's not the man that you all think he is he's a lot better than that black journalists you have a responsibility well you know we are we're journalists and you know we we are supposed to have um, uh, 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 an opinion but 
but we are supposed to hide that and, and, and we're not supposed to to lean in this wait a minute wait a minute the only reason you got an NABJ is because you didn't feel you could express who you are where you are so you had to organize who you are so that you could be more effective where you are isn't that right I would like to see democracy protected. 